Africa is a fascinating continent, uh, pretty unique, um, unique in terms of some of the opportunities and some of the challenges as well. Um, you know, it's a, a huge continent and quite often not very densely populated. There's lots of remote areas which is particularly uh, relevant for the mining applications. Um, and the infrastructure here in Africa is obviously it's very hard to put infrastructure over that vast amount of space. Uh, so there's, there's often times where you need to be generating power actually where the demand is required and that's really where, where we come into it. So I think you know, some of the, the opportunities definitely there's so many natural commodities, natural resources in Africa that um, can be further developed and benefits Africa, the people of Africa and, and the world. Um, but also some of the challenges that I mentioned around of, of the sparse, um, um, you know, it's a, a very huge continent uh, with relatively limited infrastructure, so that's a good challenge definitely. So I mean our main business is, is generators, providing power on site. So I think uh, some of the developments between now and the last two years, um, definitely uh, sort of remote monitoring. So, so we believe if you're going to, to deal with some of those challenges that I mentioned Africa has, you need to be, to be local. And when I say local, I'm not just saying uh, subsidiaries, which we do have, and we've now got three subsidiaries in, in Southern Africa. Uh, we've just launched one in Tanzania. Uh, we've got uh, um, sort of remote um, um, spoke locations uh, in Zimbabwe and Namibia, for example. And those need to hold spares and parts. So that's a big development we've done in terms of making sure we've got the right spares and parts and, and critical um, spares close to where the actual power is being generated and also have technical people, engineers and technicians um, that are either on site or in some of these, these uh, uh, remote offices that we have so we can then supply and provide a quick solution to, to customers. We don't believe in being a, a dump and run generator company. You have the generator and then you deal with all the problems afterwards. We want to be with the customer throughout. So, so quite often we also put our own O&M, operation and maintenance manpower on the site uh, to actually run the, the power plant for, for the customer. Miners are you know, very good at mining. Um, you know, potentially they want to outsource and have a specialist company come in and, and manage the power plant, which we can do. And we include training programs in there. We've done a lot of work on, on um, training and development programs for our customers and also our internal staff um, to make sure that we can always sort of uh, upskill um, either, uh, the customers' uh, staff so they know how, to you know how to operate a power plant or our own team. So European manufactured, number one, so it does come with all the European standards. It's a very good quality product. Um, it doesn't come with the price point of, of some other European uh, products, um, but it does come with, as I say, those European standards around emissions, uh, around noise, uh, attenuation, um, and it's a very robust generator. And, you know, put your money where your mouth is in Winston. So our warranty terms, for example, are, are best in class at 4,000 hours or two years. Um, and then we have service level agreements, etc. as I say, to make sure we are continually uh, working with the, the customer. I think um, flexibility, and I say that in terms of two things. One is commercial flexibility. So we offer you know, straight sale and EPC, uh, engineering procurement construction. So we all come in and provide the, the power plant for the customer, a turnkey solution, including all the balance of plant, not just the generators. Uh, and we'll do all the logistics, getting it to site. We'll then do the, the installation and commissioning ourselves, and then a handover to the customer. We also offer rental, so we have our own rental fleet of uh, just over 100 megawatts now, um, and then build own operate transfer type projects. So there's a commercial flexibility, and then I think also in terms of technical flexibility. So you know we're known for diesel generators, um, which we do have a range of different engines depending on which are the most fuel efficient or, or, or less capex intensive. Um, we have a great gas range, natural gas, that can either run actually on gas or LPG. And I think that's a big opportunity for the, for the mining sector in Africa now that gas and distributed gas is becoming more and more um, available. 
and and then we have a medium speed uh, range from our, our parent company Yanmar that is is a fantastic product, very very fuel efficient. All of our all of our generators, whether high speed or medium speed, we really do offer best in class fuel efficiency. Um, and I think just on the point of fuel efficiency, if I can, what what looks like a great fuel efficiency on an ISO data sheet can be very different to how the miner is actually operating that or the application should I say on a mine site and what I mean by that is like driving your car if you drive your car inefficiently you'll burn through fuel very very quickly so not only do we have the technology that's very best-in-class fuel efficiency we then spend a lot of time uh, making sure our operations team and our customers know where we need to be operating and running those machines to make sure they're at the most fuel efficient load factor etc so so that's a big part of, of what we do and how we present that to a customer and say on ISO conditions you ca can get will get this fuel efficiency but on site it's not going to be quite as good because you have altitude to factor in you have load factors you have temperatures in Africa um, so we'll be very transparent with the customer in terms of this is a fuel efficiency you can expect and we will guarantee because it's now based on actual site conditions. So as I mentioned earlier we've started a, a subsidiary now in, uh, in East Africa based in Dar es Salaam in Tanzania looking after the five East African countries there uh, and yeah we've picked up some nice mining projects. The mining sector in East Africa is very very active at the moment and you know with some of those, those miners um, just starting, obviously there are sort of solution uh, where they're not grid connected, is, is, there's, there's a good opportunity for us to support the growth of the mining sector in, in East Africa. So we have um, recently commissioned at the beginning of the year four megawatts with um, Walkabout. Uh, Walkabout Resources is an Australian graphite mine based in the southern part of uh, Tanzania. Uh, Ravuma Coal as well, also in Tanzania with another 4 megawatts and again we're doing all the operation and maintenance of that project uh, on site and, and those two projects have literally been commissioned in the last uh, three or four months and then uh, and the a large project that we are in the final stage of the commissioning at the moment, our guys are on site and uh, dealing with some of the, the rain um, in Sierra Leone so that's 12 megawatts uh, for a mine site there um, and that's again full O&M and manpower provided by ourselves and really working with the customer there in, in quite challenging um, uh, a remote location and, and conditions so um, some nice projects definitely in the mining sector.